And welcome once again to another session of the Hallelujah Gardening Guide. My name is George Malkmus, and today we're going to talk about tomatoes. Tomatoes is one of the favorite fruits, and yes, it is a fruit. Uh, and um, I, I think you're going to find some interesting information here that will help you maybe to appreciate tomatoes even a little more than you have in the past. Remember a few minutes ago we talked about tomatoes being a fruit. They're not a vegetable and most folks don't realize that. But anything that has the seed within it would be like a tomato, would be like a pepper, be like a cucumber. These are technically fruits and not vegetables. Now when we come to tomatoes we find that there are two distinct types of tomatoes. One is called determinant and one is called interdeterminate. The determinant grow to a certain height and then they stop growing and they have, uh, have only a short uh, period of, of growth and production. The interdeterminant, they just keep going and going and going and going. I will take these um, supports that I have here on these tomatoes and as they reach the top of that I will add another section of almost equal height and before fall they will be right up to the very top of the second se section. And so tomatoes are very rewarding and um, we're going to talk a little bit more about them in just a moment. Now when we come to tomatoes we have what we call heirloom tomatoes which are old time varieties. They've been around some of them for hundreds of years and, and then we have hybrid tomatoes. Um, where they have developed certain qualities um, by, by just harvesting um, and crossing just the very best seed to get, bring about a desired quality within the fruit and within the growth habit. Um, beginning down here, these are hybrid cherry tomatoes. Um, I like Sweet 100s the best. I was not able to obtain any uh, starter plants with the Sweet 100s. And so this was what was available, and they're called husky cherry, uh, cher cherry uh, tomatoes. Um, these are interdeterminate. Um, they will grow all the way up to the top, and then I will add a section, and they have these little one-inch fruits. They are very, very sweet. In fact, Rhonda and I like these cherry tomatoes uh, for flavor, uh, probably better than any of the larger type tomatoes and uh, they bear literally hundreds and hundreds of them on each plant. We move down here to a these are heirloom tomatoes and these are black crims. These tomatoes go date back um, probably a hundred years and they're a tomato that is almost black in its, uh, in its color with a green uh, kind of crown uh, on the top and they are very very tasty tomato and once again these are interdeterminate and will continue to grow and grow throughout the season. We're going to end up here with another uh, hybrid tomato it's called Goliath. Um, they seem to be the hardiest and uh, least susceptible to the funguses and viruses that affect tomatoes and if you remember back in a previous session, um, I had gone to the store and I had purchased um, these in st as starter plants. And there happened to be two plants within the container. And I took and I, with my knife, I cut them be between the two and I planted them separately. When we first uh, cut these and planted them, they were about the size of these heirloom tomatoes over here. They were just small plants, but uh, here we are about a month later and you can see the tremendous growth that they have experienced and already we are starting to see little tomatoes on the vine. I don't know if you can pick them up from, from over there, but um, we, we have little tomatoes already forming on these vines and in about another month um, probably um, the first week of June, we will be picking our first tomatoes right from our garden. They are so delicious when you grow them yourself and um, they're, they're just, I mean we harvest them and take them in and a few minutes later we're eating them. 
and you can't get a fresher tomato than that. Let's go see what Willie has for the new tip for this week. Hi, I'm Willie from Hallelujah Acres and I have another quick gardening tip for you to help you get your garden off to an early start. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, sweet corn and I've got some uh, a variety called candy corn here and these are untreated seed because of course we want to grow our vegetables organically. Um, but these seeds, if I just planted them in cold, wet soil, are not going to germinate very well and they might actually just rot in the soil. So one thing that you can do to help them along is to plant them in a pot like this and start them indoors. And I'm just placing the seeds down about an inch below the surface of the soil. I'll water these and keep them in the house just for a few days to a week until they germinate. And as soon as they, they start uh, greening up, You'll see a little tip of green emerge from the soil. They're ready to transplant outside. And what most people don't realize is that the seed won't germinate in cold, wet soil, but once the plant has sprouted, it actually can tolerate some fairly cold temperatures. So this is another quick tip from Hallelujah Acres. Thank you, Willie, for that great tip for this week. Now, as we close out this session, I want to say that the soil that you plant your tomatoes in is of such great importance. You want to have a lot of compost in there uh, to make it very friable. You want to keep the fertilizer that we talked about earlier. Um, we, we fertilize our tomato plants every two weeks uh, with that tomo tomato tone. And um, we, we keep it watered, well watered. It is best to keep the water off the leaves uh, and just water uh, the base of the plant because we get, there's a, tomatoes are susceptible to a lot of funguses and viruses. And if you keep the leaves wet uh, unnecessarily, you just um, promote something that you'd rather not have to deal with. So it's, it's been a joy being with you. Um, until next week for another session of the Hallelujah Gardening Guide. This is George saying so long. It's been good to with you, be with you.